welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system consists of three interrelated components, the blood, the heart and the blood vessels. The blood is a liquid connective tissue that consists of cells surrounded by plasma. The blood transports oxygen from the lungs to the cells of the body and carbon dioxide from the body cells to the lungs for exhalation. It carries nutrients from the gastrointestinal tracts to the body cells and the moons from endocrine glands to other body cells. It also transports waste products of various organs for elimination from the body. The blood also maintains homeostasis as it regulates the pH, the temperature and the water content of the body. The blood also protects the body from infection. If a sample of blood is centrifuged in a small glass tube, the cells sink to the bottom of the tube while the plasma forms a layer on top with an intermediate layer in between referred to as the buffer coat. Blood is about 45% formed elements and 55% blood plasma. The white blood cells and platelets occupy less than 1% of the formed elements found in the buffer coat. The liquid portion of the blood is referred to as the plasma. It's made up of 92% water, 7% proteins such as albumins, globulins, and fibrinogens, and the remaining 1% is made up of electrolytes, enzymes, hormones, and other solids found in the blood. The formed elements of the blood include three principal components. The red blood cells, also known as the erythrocytes, the white blood cells, also known as the leukocytes, and the platelets, also referred to as the megakaryocytes. The white blood cells are further divided into neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes. The process by which the formed elements in the blood develop is known as hemopoiesis. This process takes place in the bone marrow. Before beta aura, hemopoiesis occurs in the yolk sac of an embryo and later in the liver, spleen, thymus, and lymph node. Immature cells are generally referred to as blasts, while mature cells are referred to as sites. The process of hemopoiesis starts from the pluripotent stem cells, also known as hemocytoblast. In order to form blood cells, pluripotent stem cells in the red bone marrow produce two further types of stem cells, which have the capacity to develop into several types of cells. These stem cells are referred to as the minor stem cells and the lymphoid stem cells. The minor stem cells will form colony forming units. This include colony forming unit E, colony forming unit MEG, colony forming unit GN. The colony forming unit E produces pro erythroblasts, which develops into mature erythrocytes, that is, the red blood cells. The colony forming unit MEG forms the megakaryoblasts, which develops into mature megakaryocytes or platelets, while the colony forming unit GM produces four different blasts which are the eosinophilic myeloblasts, which forms the eosinophils, the basophilic myeloblasts, which develop to form the basophils, the myeloblasts, which develop into neutrophils, and the monoblasts, which develop into monocytes. The lymphoid stem cells do not form colony forming units, but rather develop into one of three blasts, which are the T lymphoblasts, which develop into mature T lymphocytes, the B lymphoblasts, which develop into the mature B lymphocytes, and the NK lymphoblasts, which forms the mature natural killer cells, also known as the NK cells. Red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes, are produced in the bone marrow by the process known as erythropoiesis, under the influence of the hormone erythropoietin produced by the kidneys. It measures about 8 micrometers in diameter. The mature red blood cells are enucleated, shaped like a biconcave disc. Their plasma membrane is strong and flexible, which allows them to deform without rupturing as they squeeze through narrow blood capillaries. The cytosol of red blood cells contains hemoglobin molecules. The hemoglobin helps the red blood cells to transport oxygen. It also transports about one third of the body's carbon dioxide to the lung. It also binds to nitric oxide, which is an important molecule that causes vasodilation. This vasodilation improves blood flow and allows oxygen delivery to the cells that the cycle of nitric oxide release. Red blood cells also contain the enzyme carbonic anhydrase, which catalyzes the conversion of carbon dioxide and water to carbonic acid, which allows about two thirds of carbon dioxide to be transported in blood plasma from tissue cells to the lungs in the form of bicarbonate ion. This action of carbonic anhydrase also serves as an important buffer in the body, making it possible to regulate the body's pH. The red blood cells have a lifespan of over 120 days. Ruptured red blood cells are removed from circulation and destroyed by macrophages in the spleen, liver, and bone marrow. The hemoglobin is broken down into in and globin. The globin portion is further broken down into amino acids, which can be reused to synthesize new proteins. The in portion is further broken down into ion and bilirubin. The ion is transferred to the plasma by binding with transferrin, and stored by binding with ferritin in muscle fibers, liver cells, and spleen. The bilirubin, which is a green pigment, is converted into bilirubin, which is a yellow-orange pigment. 
Billy Rubin enters the blood and is transported to the liver. Within the liver, Billy Rubin is conjugated and released by liver cells into bile, which passes into the small intestine and then into the large intestine. In the large intestine, bacteria converts bilirubin into urobilinogen. Some urobilinogen is absorbed back into the blood, converted to a yellow pigment called urobilin, which is then excreted in the urine. Most urobilinogen is, however, eliminated in feces in the form of a brown pigment called stercobilin, which gives feces its characteristic color. The percentage of total blood volume occupied by red blood cells is called the hematocrites. Thus, the hematocrit of 40 indicates that 40% of the volume of blood is composed of red blood cells. The normal range of hematocrit for adult females is 38 to 46%, and that for adult males is 40 to 54%. Females have lower hematocrit mainly due to lower levels of the hormone testosterone. Lower values in women during their reproductive years may also be due to excessive loss of blood during menstruation. Low hematocrit is known as anemia, while high hematocrit is referred to as polycythemia. White blood cells or leukocytes are also cells in the blood. They have nuclei but do not contain hemoglobin. The blood normally contains about 5,000 to 10,000 white blood cells per microliter of blood. They are classified as either granular or agranular depending on whether they contain cytoplasmic granules, which are made visible by staining when viewed through a light microscope. Examples of granular white blood cells include the neutrophils, which make up about 60 to 70% of the total white blood cells in the blood. Their nucleus have two to five lobes with older neutrophils having more nuclear lobes than younger ones. Because older neutrophils have several differently shaped nuclear lobes, they are often referred to as polymorphonuclear leukocytes, or polymorphs, or polys fusions. The function for phagocytosis, destruction of bacteria with lysozyme, defensins and strong oxidants such as superoxide anion, hydrogen peroxide, and hypochlorite anion, referred to as reactive oxygen species, or ROS. The eosinophils make up about 2 to 4 percent of the white blood cells in the blood. It usually has two lobes. It plays an important role in allergic reaction and fights parasitic infections. The basophils make up about 0.5 to 1 percent of all white blood cells in the blood. Those two lobes also play an important role in allergic reaction. The eight granular leukocytes include the lymphocytes, examples of which include the T lymphocytes, the B lymphocytes, and the lateral killer cells. They make up about 20 to 25 percent of the white blood cells in the blood. They mediate immune reactions, including antigen and antibody reactions. B cells develop into plasma cells, which secrete antibodies. T cells attack invading viruses, cancer cells, and transplanted tissue cells. Natural killer cells attack wide variety of infectious microorganisms, and certain spontaneously arising tumor cells. The monocytes make up about 3 to 8 percent of all white blood cells. Phagocytose microorganisms after transforming into mature macrophages. The last formed element in the blood is the platelets, also known as megakaryocytes. During hemopoiesis, megakaryoblasts transform into megakaryocytes, a huge cell that is painted in 2000 to 3000 fragments. Each fragment enclosed by a piece of the plasma membrane is called a platelet. Platelets break off from the megakaryocyte in the bone marrow and enter the blood circulation. Between 150 to 400,000 platelets are present in each microliter of blood. Each is irregularly disc-shaped with no nucleus. Their granules contain chemicals that once released promote blood clotting. 